Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I hope you're doing well. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. You know what I do during my weeks? It is Thursday. Uh, it's Thursday, February 21st, 2019. You know what I do um, during my weeks besides work <laughs> and these videos? is uh, I wait for my email from Spydeco when they tell me what knife they're sending out to the club. Haven't had one yet, which is kind of good because I, I jump up and down. I'm so thrilled that it's coming. Then I remember, oh boy, I have to pay for those things. So, <laughs> so I haven't heard from them yet. Uh, obviously, some knives will be coming. And now with the new Spider Corolla, we know what knives. But today, no Spider Co at all in my carry. So let's talk about it. The watch today, very nice and simple. It's one of my favorite Rolexes, really. I love the Datejust Classic. This is classic too. It's a precision, a Rolex pre precision. This is obviously not the original band. Someone gave me this as a gift, and they left the Rolex hardware at the store. Ah, don't do that. When you get a new band, it doesn't have to be a Rolex, but when you get a new band, keep your original hardware. It just looks better. It does. It does. Bands come with nice generic buckles and hardware. Hold on. Oh, man. The one thing about good handmade cigars, not just Cuban cigars. Now, this is my Cuban cigar for the day, the Monte Cristo. But one thing about it, hold on, oh, is they have to be humified. Uh, you have to put them in a humidor. And, uh, you know, it, it, nowadays you can take care of a humidor pretty simple. They have packs and all that but water packs and stuff but man it smells so good when a cigar has been sitting in there for quite some time a year maybe a year and a half some of my cigars have been in there in a humidor i have several of them because some of my cigars are really old some of them have been in there for 20 years but anyway this is the this one has not i love this monte cristo oh smells great you know you can't really smoke at work and i refuse to smoke a great cigar in the garage with every or with all the cigar smokers <laughs> for me smoking a cigar i know i carry one every day um but smoking a cigar is a pleasure for me so i have to be in a relaxed situation and standing in the cold <laughs> <laughs> with cigarette smokers is not relaxing. Uh, this is my Shown Design pin. It's the brass one that is quickly becoming my favorite. Just look how it's aged. Just the patina is unfreaking beautiful. I just love carrying this. Scotch. Just a regular blended, uh, uh, blended kind. Just a regular blended kind. One of my uh, skinny coach wallets. The coin for today, and then I took pictures that I'll post on Instagram. My Instagram, by the way, is at Keith Kevin Ken, just like this channel. But um, I think I. And then I said, did I do this just recently, carry this? But I kept it anyway. I think I did. I really like this coin. I like all the coins, actually. Um, the simple ones, as well as these. These are what the Mint call commemorative coins. They are an official coin in God We Trust. This one is from 2016, celebrating the 100th year anniversary from 1916 to 2016 of the United States National Park Service 
uh, the national parks are just wonderful. I, I always wanted to go to them. Now, I've been to a number of urban national parks. Um, but, man, I would love to go to Yellowstone and all those biggies. So, at some point, I'm going to do that. I'm more of a city person, but I drool every time I look at those. You know, I've been following people in their vans and mobile homes. Um because at some point, retirement or such, I want to just travel around, go to all the local, ah, I have to knock wood, uh, just haven't done it yet, because it costs a little money, but I want to get just a nice little van um, decked out, and go on trips around the country, and check out local cigar shops, check out knife local knife shops or if there's a knife maker there see if i can talk to them uh, for this channel to extend it go to some great restaurants and all of that kind of thing so maybe one day one day we'll do it you guys know i really like serge Pachenko. It, it's hard to catch his knives they sell out so quick but i have two of his uh claw coins i've always loved these things this is the newest of the two that I have. These are mid-tech, but tumbled um, uh, titanium, and I love the brass accents. You see the pivot right there? He does that so nice with his stuff, the accents. There's the brass right here. My other one is all just tumbled tie. It is a slip joint. Hawk blade knife that's about one inch long, but you know, you can hold it here to keep it steady. It just comes in handy too, nice and sharp, beautiful. No one knows, no one knows this is a knife. I put it on my keychain. You can wear it around your neck as well, but I put it on my keychain. No one knows that this is a knife, uh, but it's just good, nice, handy can do everything a keychain knife needs to do. That is the claw coin, uh, the coin claw. The coin claw from Serge Pachenko. He has a coin claw two version that I think is coming out. I think he's working with a, um, a, a production company as well to do his knives. Uh, I follow him on Instagram and I've got a couple of those messages. I just don't know when they'll be out and available and that kind of thing. I would even like some of his production knives because I can't grab the customs. <laughs> um, the knife that I'm carrying with that is my small Sabenza 21 from Chris Reeve Knives. This is the knife art exclusive because it's carbon fiber. This is the carbon fiber. Now, Blade HQ has the um, carbon fiber inlay where you have, you know, the two inlays on the front, one on the back. The carbon fiber from knifeart.com, that exclusive is, the you see the top scale. The top scale is all carbon fiber. It takes about a half ounce off of the weight too. That's why I like it. It looks great. You get everything you expect from a Sabenza, but it's a lot lighter. And it does look pretty, especially when you look at the small Sabenza 21s or the uh, Inkosi. Just looks so great. It's that, that tad, just, a, it's almost a gentleman's folder. And I work in an office, and this is like the, most heavy-duty gentleman's folder you could ever have, a uh, Sabenza 21. Just real nice. It's Crucible's S35 VN steel, CPBs, CPMs. That's Crucible, and they're S35 VN steel. 2.9 inches. The entire knife is just 6.7 inches really about 6.9 inches the entire knife 2.8 I'm, I'm sorry 2.3 ounces I go to 2.8 ounces if you had the regular titanium but this doesn't so you 
take off five tenths <laughs> it's 2.3 ounces when you get these you also get a special uh, bead on your lanyard with that blue I love the blue highlights on this knifeart.com exclusives Chris Reeve of course on the back side the work side it's all titanium of course the frame lock and the clip this is a right handy they do have some left handed ones as well and this one of course has a tanto blade I love a tanto blade I do it's one of my favorites shapes I don't have a lot of them but I love that shape that's what I'm carrying. I almost carried this. <laughs> I love my Wii knives. I now have what? Four of them or three of them? Th three Wii knives. I, most of them have this thin profile. No, no, no. That's a lie. <laughs> Two out of the three have a thin profile. Man, I love this knife. The styling of it is just so beautiful. The function is nice too. It's a big knife for me, but man every time I take it out it's just so well done and beautiful um, 3.9 inch blade it has that bowler m390 steel which is real nice it retains an edge for a very long time just really nice oh smooth as silk everyone flips this up except me cuz I'm old guy <laughs> but trust me <laughs> It flips up like you wouldn't believe. The pivot on this is unbelievable. It flips up. It almost seems like it's just one piece of brass and titanium, but it isn't. That right there is a backspacer that closes it off. Uh, I love the black titanium, the bronze. Uh, there's bronze pieces, but also... Um, colored bronze look how beautiful and even the little wee <laughs> logo is so stylistic real thin clip but works nice does not take up a lot of room in your pocket it's a it's a long knife it really is 8.6 inches total it's three ounces but man for a knife like this it <laughs> It's super light, just a real nicely made knife, and it flips up there like crazy. You know, I just never flip mine up. No reason. I'm not against it. <laughs> I just don't do it. But if you ever see anyone on YouTube or anything talk about this knife or use it, you'll see them flipping it up like it's almost a flipper. It's so nice and smooth. Ah. <sighs> I'm in love. The three bowl, the three bowler, the three Wii knives. I know it's knives, but Wii knife is the company. The Wii knife knives. I'm just in love with one of them slip joint. This one and the one that has the uh, springs on the outside. Just beautiful knives. Three of them. I'm not sure it's my last one either. That's the Wii Knife 618H. Did I ever say that? I probably did. It's the 618H. Uh, I, I just looked it up on Blade HQ right before this, and I see there's like four other ones, blacked out, blue, all those colors. I just want to get all the colors. <laughs> I have to admit, the three Wii Knives that I have, I want to get all the variations. I love those three knives so much. Um, and these are new knives for me, right? I'm used to Chris Reeves, Spyticles, uh, Browse Blades, and others. But oh, uh, I have to, <laughs> every time I see it, I go, don't buy them. There's a lot of Spyticles coming up this season. Don't buy them. But uh, if, you, <laughs> if you see more Wii knives, don't be surprised. There you have it. That's the carry for today. That's the deconstruction of my EDC. Um, I really appreciate you guys. I really do. It's so great to get a chance to talk to you. Uh, I hope your life is a good one. 
I know. Just uh, going day to day is tough enough. It really is. I remember when I was consulting, I stopped consulting, and I said, okay, I'm just going to do a simple life. I'm going to work, enjoy myself. I'm not flying all around. Not Man, a simple life is tougher than running a one-person business flying around. <laughs> seriously <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but man it's tough just just living you guys though um, that's why we talk about all of our toys and the stuff we love right it just helps you live the good life I hope you have the good life whatever that is for you you take care keep those pockets full don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications it just helps me out it takes a couple of seconds you have a perfect one, okay? Goodbye.